In our first video about the cubic atomic model, we had covered the construction of the atoms up to neon. In part two of the cubic atomic model, I will demonstrate the construction of the other noble elements up to radon. In order to do this, we're going to be using a program called LEGO Digital Designer. And in place of using Velcro blocks, I'm going to represent uh, each of the atoms components using Lego bricks. And here we have the atom neon again. And uh, it consists of actually uh, the blocks which represent the helium nucleus. And so you can see that neon actually consists of one, two, three, four, five helium nucleuses bonded together. And because they're all helium nucleuses, this explains uh, its non-reactivity. So let's bring up uh, the next uh, noble element, which is argon. So here we have argon. And uh, once again, I'm showing here in blue is the original neon atom. Now to create argon, uh, these dark blue blocks represent the atoms that we're adding on. So uh, the first one added on at this location would be sodium. The second one added on would be magnesium. Uh, third is aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, and finally chlorine. And then we get the final one added as argon. And once again, this atom is consists of entirely of just helium nucleuses glued together. So you've got your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight helium nucleuses glued together. So let's go on to the next atom in the noble elements, which is krypton. Okay, this is the krypton atom, and once again you can see the original neon, which is blue in here, and then it was added on for argon, which is dark blue, and what we've added on for krypton has been coated in red. Now krypton has a lot more elements to get up to krypton, and the way we get there is that we add one on top, which is potassium, another on bottom, which is calcium. Then we add a ring of four around the top and four around the bottom of the base. So that accounts for eight of the atoms. So that's scandium, titanium, dandium, chromium, magnesium, iron, cobalt, and nickel, up to nickel. Then after that we have eight more elements and these are in these side wings which is copper, zinc, gallium, germanium, arsenic, selenium, bromine, and then finally krypton. So that is the krypton atom. Next we go on to neon. And we have coated uh, xenon by adding green bricks. And this, this goes on in a similar pattern. One on top, rubidium. One on bottom, strontium. And we've got, once again, a four on top, four on bottom, and basically eight on these side wings. And that gets us all the way to xenon. So let's take a look at the next noble element, which is radon.
Okay, here we have the radon atom. I have coated these as orange. And the way we get to radon is that we add one to the top, which is selenium, one on the bottom, which is barium. Then we have all of the transitional elements in here, which is represented by stacking all of these orange squares at these locations. And if you count them all up from the top and the bottom, you will find that you will get through all of the transitional elements from uh, lorentium to to uh, uh, lutetium at, at 71 and it would continue on through through hafnium and finally the last one you would add on the top and the bottom would be um, acetine and radon. So this is how we can demonstrate how the cubic atomic model uh, is created uh, for all of the noble elements.